Hello everyone. I'm making this video for Herbie Duckie. As I'm editing the footage, which is by the way back at the uh, Osbar Flea Market back in 1989. That's 21 years ago. Herbie Duckie. This is a tribute to Herbie Duckie. Herbie's still alive and doing well. But uh, we're doing this for him and his family. I've known his family, his kids. I'm raised up around them. And it's like now I'm watching footage. And you're probably hearing the audio because I'm actually looking at it as a man. But I'm, I'm dedicating this. I'm going to build a page. I'm building a, a Herb Duncan uh, site. And I have footage, audio, and video from years back to the, uh, the spur. <laughs> As a lot of you know in Newport Richie, back when I had a little Fender 8 string steel. But nevertheless, this is all about Herbie Duck and his kids, Lanny Cheeks, and a whole bunch of them. Myself, I played guitar. The quick story is that every time I would, I was on the road for many, many, many years. And whenever I cut home, um, Herbie Duck would pretty much fire anybody that he had on the guitar and say, Well, Jerry Guy's back. I won't put him to work. I'd be only be there maybe two weeks, three weeks, or a month. And then he'd put him back to work. But the story is, Herbie would just let anybody go just to hire me back. And this went on for many, many, many years. And and I thank him for it. You know, and Herbie is such a great singer. From Marty Robbins to Andy Arnold to George Jones, an entertainer that could take his acoustic guitar and entertain the whole night's worth of entertainment. Him and his brother, Ray Duncan, I'll tell you, man, I was raised on the roots of Herbie Duncan, Harold White, and Tommy Wilson, Joe Rogan, people like that. Uh, it's not like the music that's today. I mean, anybody could take a fuzz tone and a distortion amp and get out there and call it country. But this, my friends, is what you call country. This is, this is what it was based on. But uh, time must move on and time must change. But anyway, I dedicate this. So if you would, check all this out and watch the videos. And there will be videos to come time after time. I'm going to build a page. I'll be sending out emails. So thank you. Until then, God bless you. And Herbie Duncan, we love you with everything in our hearts. And God bless you. Thank you, sir. Bye-bye. You guys, before we go any farther, folks, I'm going to bring up the Godly Portion of the Duncan Brothers Show. Along with our uncle now. He's just back from Tennessee, Nashville, Tennessee. We missed him. He's up there eight months. Put your hands together for our daddy, folks. Herbie Duncan, come on down. Yeah. Yeah. This is the man right here that introduced us, folks, to country music. He had several hits back in the 60s. Along with his buddy, his parent, young Mel Tillis, Red Servine, and of course, Herbie Duncan. Another round of applause for my family, folks, and my daddy. Hurry up. Come on. You know, thank you very much, Rick. When I went to Tennessee, I thought I was going to be alone. But here's my brother down here that I found there. And we played, we played a lot of music while we were in Tennessee. We played a lot of churches, all kinds of churches, all over the place. I'm going to do a couple of songs. Here's a uh, Eddie Arnold medley I'd like to do for you. Then Stacy and I will do a couple of tunes for you. 